Good morning, everyone. Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Happy Monday. Hope uh, everyone had a good weekend. A couple things I wanted to go through today. One is when you're looking at the buy sell ratio, which is found under the market trend tab here, you go to the buy sell ratio. This is a three year look at this. It's just another perspective that. Uh, that I wanted you to take a look at. One is right here is about the beginning of the year of this year, 2022. Maybe maybe a little bit over here slightly, but right in this in this range. One of the things to notice is we've been in this bear market now all, all year long, and the range of the sales when we do get into one of these market slides and we start to head lower, the rate of the sales is significantly higher than um, than the buys back here at this level. Or I should say that notice that during a good strong uptrend, this is where the buy range also wants to be versus down here in a, in a bull market, or excuse me, a bear market. Anytime we had a rally, the the number of buys in the database just did not measure up. There just was not a lot of participation versus the number of sales. That that simply is just a market breadth direction. Uh, and, and obviously, if you're just looking at the Dow or the S&P 500 or any market, the fact that it's going lower and sliding lower, you would expect these kind of internals. But this is a way to be able to just add a little bit more confirmation to those internals as you're doing your analysis. Uh, this move right here was an interesting move because we did this was the bottom or a bottom that we had a month ago a couple months ago not the most recent one but the real strong bounce that we had here um, this move recently has been relatively strong you know back to these ranges in terms of participation <clears throat> not quite as strong in here as here but definitely higher than here and here so you're getting a lot more interest and that's with technical analysis and really any type of data price analysis that's the best that we can do is try to look for some clues what is the data telling me versus what do i want the data to say and in this case the data is telling me that there's more participation here does that mean we're going to turn and move higher who knows but there's de the table is getting set there's definitely some nibbling and there's definitely some activity happening right here okay that's that's kind of a longer term type perspective and that's going to correlate well with this perspective as well because we know that we we know that we've been in this downtrend now it's just about are we bottoming out and starting to reverse and starting to get uh, a little bit more confidence in terms of our overall market direction to be buying back into uh, equities or certain type of equities we definitely can be buying equities at any time there's always going to be something that's moving that's the whole point of what we're trying to do here is look for the best market opportunities and the best stocks in those opportunities. But even in a, even in bad markets, which definitely this is still a bad market, there are stocks or sectors that are moving. Let's talk about some of those uh, stocks and sectors currently because the top three or four are all shipping stocks and they have really nice bullish trend profiles uh, here like this. And almost all of them, we'll look at a couple, have this real solid bar here a real solid confirmation bar almost a breakout bar on these but after a long consolidation phase and then a confirmation bar that's a high probability setup they just don't they, they don't get much better than that other than maybe it was a little bit earlier in the trend we're a little bit later in the trend uh, but still it's a nice setup that's stng which has been performing really well and then also uh oops didn't want to go there wanted to go here to uh CAL I'm also looking good. Let me come back here. The uh, TNK, which is the other, which is another uh, shipper, which is also looking good. And there are several others. F FRO, you can see these breakouts. So keep an eye on shippers today, uh, particularly those top three names. And we'll see, uh, we'll see where we end up going today. If you don't have full access to the Traders Pro site or software, you can click the link below and uh, get yourself signed up. And we look forward to having you. Have a great day today.